Hello DC fans, welcome back to my channel, AI Movies Review. So finally, Justice League Crisis on Infinite Earths Animation Movie Part 1 has been released. So in this video, we will have a spoiler-free discussion on this movie. You must know that Crisis on Infinite Earth will be released in three parts because the story arc is very big. So in three parts this animation movie will be completed and shown to us. So Part 1 has been released. If you have read the comic book series, you will have an idea that there is a big multiverse event that is going to harm the entire multiverse. So the heroes of different universes will unite in a way to fight this multiverse threat. And everything is on the shoulders of Flash. So the animation movie, my expectations were very low, but I will still say that the movie surprised me. It is a good movie, story-wise, and a little bit that they have tried to change from the comic book, so I liked those changes. Overall, guys, it is a decent movie. Plus, I liked the best thing about this movie, that we have seen some scenes or things like Batman, a universe that battles with Robin. If that Batman interacts with a Batman who works standalone, who has not joined any Robin with him. If two such Batman interact, then what will be the interaction between them? Or a Superman who is in a relationship with Wonder Woman, or a Superman who has lost Lewis, if he interacts with that Superman whose Lewis is still alive, then what will be the interaction? So there are a lot of unique things or a lot of good scenes in this movie. The voice acting was very good. The voice actors of Flash, I think Matt Boomer has given voice to Flash in this movie. So he did a very good job in voice acting. But guys, the voice actor who are give voice to Batman is Jensen Enkels. I will say that I feel not good as a voice actor. I didn't like his voice that much. The rest of the animation style is fine. The animation style of Tomorrowverse has been tried to evolve in its animation style. It will be interesting to see how they take the story forward in part 2 and part 3. But one thing will have to be accepted, the way they have separated the stories of different universes, they have done a very good job. I don't know why DC builds up the stories so well in animation, but I don't know why DC can't do this in live action. Overall movie was good experience have you seen this movie? Please tell me in the comment section. And subscribe to my channel for DC updates. Thank you.